To edit our sunglasses in Photoshop, you're either going to go to File, Open, and open the image from there, or you can go to your folder and simply drag and drop the texture into Photoshop. And now the easiest way to change the color of your glasses is to simply create a new layer. And you click on this little icon here, and you have a new layer, and each layer is stacked on top of the other. And this will let you change the color. To ensure that everything is working correctly, sometimes you'll need to go to Image, Mode, and make sure that RGB color is selected. Now we will select the Rectangular Marquee Tool, which is this icon right here. Make sure that's enabled, and we will just simply click and drag across until we go all the way down to the bottom and side of the glasses bridge area. And now when you release, you will see these little marching lines going across and that will show that this area is selected on the canvas. Next, we will go to select inverse and this will select the opposite portion of the canvas. And this is the area where we want to change our color. Now, let's change our foreground color to a nice green turquoise. What we're going to do is click here where the black is and this will change our foreground color. Now at the bottom of this new window that popped up, we will type in 32 BBB3 and hit OK. This changes our foreground color to the color that we want. Now, to change the color of our new layer, we are going to select the paint bucket icon. We're going to click on this icon right here, go over to our canvas, and fill in with the color. Now, it's necessary to change the blending mode on our new layer to see the changes on our texture. Where you see normal, we will click on this, and we will change this color to darken. And here we have a brand new color for our glasses. And now your sunglasses are ready to be saved. So let's go to File, Save As. And we will change the name of our texture to sunglasses. And save this as a JPEG. Select Save. And a new box will pop up with an ability to adjust the file size of your texture. If you'd like, you can lower the size just by sliding the bar and select OK. And now your new texture is ready to be uploaded into InView Studio. And now let's move on to your lenses texture. What we're going to do is go to File, Open, and it will bring up the last area that your texture was saved in. We're going to select this blank texture here select open and now you have a new texture ready to be edited on this texture we're going to set the foreground color to a dark green what we're going to do is just like we did before select the foreground color and this time we are going to type in 005952 and select OK and now you see in your icon that this color has been set to a nice dark green. And we're going to grab the paint bucket tool once more. We're going to move the mouse over this texture and simply click on it. And this has changed the color of the texture from white to a nice dark green. And now the texture for your lenses is ready to be saved. So we'll do the same process over File, Save As. And then we will type in Lenses and it is already set at JPEG. And then we will hit Saved. And again, you can adjust the slider bar if you would like, and simply select OK. And now your lenses texture is ready. So now that we've finished our texture for our lenses, we are gonna move on to creating the opacity map. We're going to minimize this window. We're gonna to go to File, Open, and select the provided opacity map that was given to us in our downloads. We'll bring this into view. We can drag this corner down to make the canvas larger. We can select the zoom tool to see what we're doing and make the image bigger. And now we're going to begin creating our opacity. Now, opacity maps are a grayscale image that determines what area of your texture is opaque, transparent, or translucent. So this will give us the ability to see through the sunglass lenses. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to create a new layer and then we're gonna go over to the small icon above your foreground color, and this will restore the default foreground and background colors to black and white. So just click that, 
and now you see that your colors have been restored to black and white. And then we're going to go up to the paint bucket tool, right click, and go over to the gradient tool. Now we want to make sure that our linear gradient tool has been selected. And we're going to double check and make sure that we've got a nice even ratio of black to white for our foreground to background. Select that, you can click off. And what we're gonna do is just drag until we create a gradient that we like. So because our foreground color is selected as black, this is what it's gonna be at the bottom when we first click to drag. And our background color will be farther away from our dragging point. Now, we want a nice gradient that will be lighter at the top, darker at the bottom. So we're going to start and click maybe midway up here and drag it up and release. And now we can see that our gradient is nice and light up here and then it fades down to a dark color here. And this will be more visible on your lenses. You will see more of your lens here, less of your lens here, and then it will be clear down here. And now that our opacity is finished, all we need to do is go to File, Save As, name your texture, make sure that JPEG is selected, click Save, and you can also adjust the size of your file, and then click OK. And now we are ready to apply our textures into MView Studio.